This video is about thermal printers and doing automatic thermal printing in WooCommerce. You see this commonly with restaurants and you can see right there the list of everything that was ordered and all the different add-ons and customizations for the various orders. And so the way restaurants usually work is an order comes in, this gets printed out so the cooks know what to cook. Uh, that way you don't have to look at a computer screen or a tablet screen to monitor orders. I recently launched a new product named Orderable and it's a plugin that you add to your website to turn it into a local ordering system. It offers order layouts, product add-ons, order bumps, one page ordering, time slots, a whole slew of features for people that want to use their WordPress websites in order to take local orders. Now it can be used for more than restaurants, but most people think of it in terms of restaurants. So here's a quick little demo. I wanna order this product and I get the slide out and there's the product as well as I might want to customize an item like this with some extra options here that increase the average order value and then I would go here to check out and right here I would choose local pickup and I would choose a time slot of when I'd like to pick the order up and there's other reasons why people might want to automatically print using WooCommerce. So this video is gonna be based on thermal printing and it's gonna require a certain brand of thermal printers. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and configure everything. Uh, and this is just all WooCommerce, has nothing to do with Orderable, but Orderable users definitely are gonna benefit from this. I'll also make a separate video, it won't be in this, on how to automatically print off of a normal letter size paper. Uh, and uh, that's a little bit different. So I'll make a separate video on that. You can look in the video description when I uh, make that video, it'll be there. So if you want to learn how to auto print to a thermal printer using WooCommerce, this is the video for you. Before we get started, I paid almost $200 for this printer just to make this video. And all I'm asking you is to support this video by smashing the like button right now. It'll take you one second. And that's all I'm asking of you. So if you could do that right now, hit that like button. Now the majority of printers that are on the market were not really created for automatic printing from a website or some external service. They're made for being connected to a computer on the network you're on. However, this is starting to change and here's a brand it's one of the most commonly used brands of thermal printers anyway so you might already have it is star and they have a feature called star cloud print it's included with their printers and it allows direct auto printing from wordpress this is the one that i bought right here the print 2 and there's four models here that you can see this was really cheap i picked it up on amazon for about 180 bucks the difference between the two and the three is the two is two inches wide the thermal paper and the print three is three inches wide and i think these are for more uh, heavy volume purposes i'm not too familiar i think one of these has a wi-fi adapter yeah, this one right here has wi-fi in it so it's up to you uh, which model that you want to get i have this one and it's connected to my network through an ethernet cable so here's the printer right here uh, i like it it's a nice compact size you can get it in multiple colors you saw on the website it's black and in here it's in a beige i ordered the beige one and so on the back here you can see the connectivity i have this network cable now this is going into my router hotspot here and that's how it's connecting to the internet uh, and then you have a power cable and that's it so the first step is to acquire one of these printers and you might be able to score a deal on ebay uh, i'll put some links down below to amazon the amazon listing that I purchased it from uh, for your convenience. So first thing you need to do is order one of these printers. Then you're going to need to connect it to your network. Now there's a little bit of networking settings. It's, it's actually so easy and I'm gonna show you right now, but you need to connect this to your network. Now what ends up happening is once it's connected to your network, you should have this these two lights. The one right here on the left is blue, the one on the right is green. If that green one's solid, that means it's connected to the internet. Now what you want to do is get what's called the IP address of this device. It's super easy to do. You turn the printer off and then you hold this button and then you 
turn the printer on, but then you hold this button down until you hear the paper starting to do its thing, and then it's going to print a sheet out. This right here is the sheet that it prints out, and at the bottom here it says, IP address, and then you just need to enter that into a web browser. I've gone ahead and entered this into a web browser. Now, if it's not working for you, there's a very simple trick I had to do this. You have to type HTTP colon slash slash and then the IP address. If you type, if you don't type that in, it's probably not going to show up. And if you type in HTTPS, it's probably not going to show up. This is all covered in the manual. So uh, don't don't worry. There's a full manual that it ends up coming with. So what you're going to want to do is log in and it's going to give you the default username and password. And in order to move forward after you log in, it's going to make you change that password. So I'll go ahead and log in now. Great. Now that you're logged in, move your mouse cursor here to where it says cloud print. You're going to switch this. It will say disabled and you need to just enable it. And then we need to get this URL. I've already done this uh, right before making this video. So this right here is going to end up being blank where it says server URL. So I'm going to show you how to get this. And this is the establishing the connection from the printer to your WordPress and WooCommerce installation. So what we need to do on your WooCommerce website is install this free plugin here that says Star Cloud Print for WooCommerce. And this is what's going to facilitate the connection with WooCommerce. After you install it, there'll be underneath the settings, a new menu option here that says Star Cloud Print. Simply click on that. Now it's going to automatically be disabled. You'll want to just choose enable to enable the feature. And here's where you get that URL. So it says right here, here's the server URL. So you're going to want to copy this into your clipboard and then go back into the printer and paste it in there. So here's where you'll need to paste that in and then scroll to the bottom and then, or actually just right here and then click on submit. After you click that submit button, the printer restarts and then right here where it says selected printer, you should see an option here. If not, refresh the page. Now there is a potential that on your web hosting account, it might be blocking the connection. So if you don't see your printer appear, you're going to have to reach out to your web host. Now I use Cloudways and I've talked about Cloudways on this channel. So there's a setting you'll need to adjust in order for it to be able to work on Cloudways. You don't have to reach out to their support. It won't work out of the box. So what you want to do is go into your application and then you want to click on application settings and then you want to scroll down to where it says direct PHP file access and enable it. The way you know if it's working or not, the connection, if you want to further test it, is that URL that we just pasted into the printer settings, you'll want to paste it into your web browser and go there. And if you see anything to the effect of what we see here, 404 forbidden or some kind of a message, that will let you know that it's not working. Something with the web hosting company is blocking it. So when you reach out to your web hosting company support, you'll want to give them the link and you'll want to say, when you visit this link, it's showing this message and can they fix it? But if it's working, what it will end up looking like is this. You'll see nothing. You'll see no error message, no warning, no nothing. This means that the connection is working. So here you can take a quick look at some of the options and there's some options here that control when the auto print occurs and your WooCommerce website setup is different than mine. So you might want the print to occur at a different time than I do, but let's go ahead and take a look at the options. It's pretty flexible. So right here is the printing trigger. And so basically it's going to auto print and it's going to be triggered based upon the status of the order. So it depends on what the status is of the orders or the default status of the orders when they come in to your store. So with orderable, we have orders come in on the on hold status. So if I want it, so as soon as someone clicks on the complete order and have it auto print, I'm going to need to choose this status right here on hold status. But if I want to have a little bit more control over when it prints, I might want to make 
it this status right here so when it's processing because i'll manually need to switch it to that status let me show you our live order view that we've added to orderable and you can get an idea of what statuses look like so i'm going to go to orderable click on live order view and this page here auto refreshes the minute an order comes in the page will refresh and you can see right here it says status and that is the status as orders come in now there's this little eye icon here if you want to change the status so let me click here and see what this test user ordered they just ordered a burger and some pasta and uh, right here if i wanted to change it to processing i can click this button which would trigger the auto print if i had it set to auto print when it's processing so that's what these options are right here the printing trigger and you can choose what works best for you next you can choose how many copies you want so some kitchens they might want to print two copies for for a reason and you can change this from one to whatever number that you want what's really cool is some of these auto printers or some of these star printers they have a jack where you can get an external buzzer that plugs into it so not only does the auto printing happen but then there's this buzzing sound in, in a buzzer that you can connect to it that will also audibly let you know that a new orders come in uh, next right here we have the header and this was what would print at the top of the order that is this right here you can see it's printed at the top of the order it says order notification i would almost assume just not show anything there but it's completely up to you now down here there's also a logo option so a lot of times what a restaurant will do is if it's like a pickup or to-go order they end up taping this thermal receipt to the bag or stapling it so you might want a little branding so here you can choose to print your logo at the top or the bottom if you wanted to add that also to the order receipt next right here for the item list you can include the item id next to each item as well as the SKU. so you can see there like for example where it says ice cream sunday and it says id 12 that's the WooCommerce item ID. So that's completely optional. Depends if you want that there in the SKU, you can have that there as well. And there's also a message that you can put at the footer. This is the message that's there by default. You see it right there where my pinky finger is, that's where that message will be. It'll be right underneath the total. And then there's some options here for additional order fields. And this is for developer customizations. So you can toss in some additional information in there. And that's it. That's all there is to automatic thermal printing using WooCommerce and um, I mean I don't know how much these thermal printers normally are I think these might be like maybe like $20 or maybe 10 or 15 percent more than a normal thermal printer if you want to go super budget uh, but I think it's worth it because these can be cloud connected like that and so this one like I said was only like 180 bucks 182 bucks on Amazon took about a week to get here all across the world there are distributors for these these printers as well so you might look locally and find something faster or maybe for a lower price I think it's pretty cheap though uh, and it works very very reliably so that's how you do it I'll put another video soon down below where I show you how to automatically print using a normal paper sized printer so make sure you look out for that now I paid that $181 so I can make this video and if that's not worth you giving this video a thumbs up right now I don't know what is support the channel support the video give it a thumbs up to show your support for these types of videos if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section down below thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video